we traveled um, extensively on our own and when I mean we I mean my brothers because this is a, a family group or four brothers that set up the, um, the company eight years ago um, but we loved hostels but we thought there was something missing to it we thought you know why not grow it and go into other cities with the same sort of concept um, like like we've done so in Porto now the main reason was partnership that we developed with, with Sandeman. And so they've asked us you know, to think of a concept that could be a restaurant, a bar and a hostel put together. And, and, they, and they said they had this beautiful property, uh, which used to be the, the Sandeman's offices. It took us four and a half years to think of the concept, to, you know, to really go into it and, and to make and design the right property. The destination really starts within the hostel. A lot of these elements that you see, the architecture, the building, they were hidden. So the first thing was, you know, to try to find out what, what was behind some of these fake walls that they used to divide it into an office. And, and that was really uh, most of our work was, you know, try to find out what's behind and how can we use it to become as, as authentic as possible. And it's definitely something uh, unique in terms of uh, location and we're above the, the sentiment cellars, which is unique, you know, and there's nothing like this. Uh, you know, you're actually sleeping on top of where the, the wine is actually aged. It goes into the, to the bottles and, and gets to the shops. The whole experience starts with your arrival and then obviously in the, the incredible beds in the dorms. Um, if you choose to stay in one of our suites, obviously the, the view, nine of the 12 suites have this incredible view of the river. And then obviously the whole atmosphere and how you design the staff. They're going to bring more than just knowing how to give you a good check-in or serve you the right breakfast. We always try to bring in people that are, know the, the, the city very well, that, you know, that love traveling. They're going to try to show you um, a different side of the city, always, a different side of the destination, because that's the way they like to travel as well. With the quality of the hostels these days, and what an incredible work all of the hostel um, owners and you know, developers are doing these days, I don't think I have to tell you much because it's, it's even nicer if you don't have much of an expectation. If you, if you choose the right destination, the right place, I'm sure you're going to have a hell of a time and it's going to be well above your uh, surprise and expectations because I think uh, everyone is doing such an incredible job around the world. It's much harder to manage a hostel than to manage a hotel. The hostel challenge, it's really to create that atmosphere where people get to know each other, um, where you can make friends in, in a night or, or a day. Again, trying to bring in some sort of contemporary um, touch. And I think we've, we've done it. Um, and in, in six months, I'm very, very happy with what we've done so far.